what we have here is a 2017 MacBook Pro that all of a sudden the client uh, found that it is asking for a PIN number booting it up right now but uh, I've already ordered the necessary chip this is the chip I just got from eBay right here um, I'm gonna go ahead and replace this chip so this is the EFI chip uh, and this chip is what's gonna help me get rid of that right there look at that see that try again so you could uh, you you could you could try as many times as you want and it's literally gonna disable your computer as you can see right there so you have to wait for 90 minutes right now to try again which is ridiculous the longer you try the more it will continue so we're gonna change this chip and our EFI issue should be gone okay we're gonna go ahead and shut this machine down and next step is we're gonna unplug the battery so the battery is right there and first thing we're gonna lift up this pull this cable out and release the battery there we go so no more connection from the battery and that is off next remove the motherboard okay so I have the board fully out and right now I'm just verifying the the model information uh, which is 820-00928A and as you can see on eBay that is the chip that I purchased right here so there you go A1707 2017-820 so you want to make sure you you match that and then you'll be able to find the chip now for me I'm gonna flip this upside down uh, let's get this over here okay so for me now I need to locate my chip on the board um, and my chip is let's see right on this area I'm gonna find it on the microscope and then show you guys here we go so on the microscope here we go that's my chip right there see that that's what I have so it does not match what I purchase because this is a wind bond but I'm gonna replace it anyway and then we're gonna test and see if I'm not successful uh, you know I'll uh, put it back and get the right chip okay I completed my chip replacement as you can see now I have the new one on the board thought the one is sitting right here we're gonna go ahead and test this we're gonna put it back together on the computer and test and see if this thing works okay I finished putting it back together I only put one screw on the board but got everything plugged batteries plugged so we are going to run a test and uh, wish me luck all right, let's uh, add some power in here to get it up. Boot up. There we go. Okay, power is on. We have to do a PRAM re reset too. They actually um, include a little piece of paper telling you to do the PRAM reset. So that is necessary in order to get it to work. So uh, let's see. <laughs> wow, it's not even pop. It's not even turning on. Yep, not getting anything at all. So yeah, this didn't go well. Okay, I do see the fan is spinning. So the fan is spinning, no video. It could be the, the video connector here, but we're gonna power it off and try to do the PRAM reset. And uh, uh, let's hold the power down. Okay, 
make sure I see. Okay, the fan stopped spinning. I want to make sure this video cable is plugged right. Yep, it is plugged good. Okay, so, yep, it's booting up again. Let me see if I could do the PRAM reset. I probably missed it. Yeah, so let's turn it off again. Still spinning. I'm gonna take the power out. Hold it down. Make sure the fan is off. Okay, fan is off. I'm gonna turn it on really quite quick and do the PRAM reset. There we go, it's booting up. Let's do the PRAM. Should hear a little ding. But if it doesn't work, I will put the other chip back on. It probably needs that. It probably has to be identical. The fact that this one has a different type, even though the model and everything was identical. Yeah, who knows, right? Apple does whatever they want. Yep, so I can't get this EFI chip to boot because it has to be identical. I have to get another one. And it has to match what I have now. So yeah, no video whatsoever because of that. Yep. So yeah, we have to get the same thing. Hey guys, so I solder the old chip back on the board and uh, we're gonna test it again. See if we get any video going back to the original. So, let's see. Oh, there you go. So it's booting up. Yeah, that's that's exactly what that means, guys. I cannot use that chip. I have to get an identical one. So I have to actually order one that's identical to this one. And um, otherwise, it won't boot. You know, trying another. Even though it's the same year, everything is identical. But that BIOS, that EFI chip is being different, will not let this computer boot. So, yep. I'll get another one and we'll go from there. Hey guys, so finally had to order the right chip, the right EFI chip, and it just arrived. So we're gonna take a look. Let's see if I can get this out of the bag. There it goes. Look at that. There we go. That's the new chip. It's all solder, it's all set. So now I'm gonna put it back in the machine and we're gonna test. Wish me luck. Okay, got everything back together. Check all the wires are plugged, everything's connected. Okay, let's go ahead and go for that test. And I really, 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 really hope all right, let's put some power in this, baby. I really hope this is it. Okay, let's see. So far, spin. It's not spinning yet. And uh, I have hit the power button. So I just hit the power button. And... Okay, it's still not spinning. Hmm. That's a no good. That's not a good sign. Hey guys, so today, 4-4-2024, I just received another chip from the same vendor. 
and I'm going to try this one and hopefully it freaking works so let's see okay as you can see old chip has been removed so the area is nice and prepared for the new one new chip is in board is back on we're gonna do another test ay 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 don't know what to say but you kinda like you know Oop, shoot okay let me turn it back on again I powered it off by accident when I hit the when I pressed it okay that sounds a little promising wow look at that we actually got a folder man oh sorry guys the camera wasn't showing you the screen look at that man so the freaking new chip looks so much better so this is uh, let's let's move this back a little more yep so the new chip man seems to be working so here's what we're gonna do we're gonna put this down like this make sure nothing touches under it and now is when we're gonna do should I shut it off we're gonna do that P R so these are the four the P RAM resets got to hold these together I'm gonna let it do another one you're gonna hear another another beep there we go now I'm gonna let it go and um, for this part I hope we didn't lose anything but it could be the new BIOS, the new EFI chip doesn't know about our drive. So I'm going to hold Option and I'm press Start. So this option should have let us find our hard drive. Okay, it's going into uh, Network. So that means it can't see the hard drive. I'm just gonna log into Wi Fi. Well, I tell you guys, this is. <clears throat> oh, wrong password. This is way better than our previous. See, it wants to do an internet recovery. I don't really want to do an internet recovery. Uh, let me see if I could boot it from the other OS. <clears throat> Let's see if we could do this. I got a boot disk here. I'm going to try to boot it off of this. So this got a version of Monterey. So I'm going to shut it down again. Plug this in. Now we're gonna hold the option again and try to boot it. And hopefully I'll find my Monterey clone. There we go. Got my Monterey clone. And we're gonna say okay on that. And it's booting off off my Monterey clone. And that's after I'm gonna look at the hard drive I hope the data was not lost. What's on the hard drive? But we'll have to see. Cause this is the first time doing this type of repair. So right here it says, highly recommend to wipe, erase the hard drive. So these are the instructions that came with it. So they really recommending wipe and reload. I know this, uh, the owner probably doesn't want to lose his data, but we will have to see. Okay, I do see his hard drive right there. Look at that on the screen. So his hard drive is present. It's just not bootable right so 
so that is a good news uh, make the screen a little brighter I'm gonna go into disk disk utility and in disk utility there he goes that's his hard drive Wow there's nothing in it it's totally blank other volumes Wow so yeah that is that is exactly what happened this hard drive is blank there's nothing in it at all nothing 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 at all so yeah guys we're gonna have to just you know uh, build this up but yeah this hard drive is totally blank there's nothing on it uh, it's possible whatever happened to this machine it got remotely re erased so now that we got a new chip shouldn't be no more EFI issues I'm actually gonna take a look here system report see doesn't say anything about being active so uh, this is a, a brand new brand new machine so literally we could go into system preferences and now you can log in with your own iCloud so I'll, I will you know have this client log in again with his own Apple ID and all that but for now this hard drive I'm just gonna format it again so we gotta erase we're gonna call it Mac book HD APFS is good so erase and then once it's done I'm just gonna do a clone and for the clone I'm gonna use carbon copy cloner there we go so okay get out of here yep that's updated to a newer version got it done and now we could go ahead and clone so this this laptop is from 2017 so let's see Ventura Okay, so we're not gonna we're not gonna go to Monterey. Instead, I'm gonna do Ventura. So I'm just gonna go ahead and shut it down. Shut it down, and we're gonna grab a copy of Ventura's clone, and we're gonna do the same thing. So, but ladies and gentlemen, I'm not gonna show you all of that. Uh, basically, this video is just to show you that you can buy a EFI chip off of eBay and replace it if you're ever locked out and uh, I will show you the vendor that I got it from <clears throat> right here is the eBay vendor advanced network if you have any questions hit me up comments like and subscribe for more videos like this